Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Friday, so it is weigh-in day post another vacation. We're gonna talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic, my week, and we're going to set some goals for the month of November since we are just starting November. I can't believe this year is almost over. We're gonna talk about that too. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell notification is turned on because I do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where I will link nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend. This is what I have followed to lose 140 pounds and maintain that weight loss. I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite healthy things are also down in that description box, as well as my Facebook group. Come on over, join us. We would love to have you. So let's jump into my week, setting some goals to finish out the year, the Weight Watchers workshop topic, and weigh in post another vacation. Hey friends, I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had an amazing week because I spent a big portion of it in San Antonio, Texas at a nutrition conference where I went as a weight loss and nutrition coach. I spent so much amazing time with my core group of friends, my friend Amy, who I had plastic surgery with, my friend Michelle and Henry, who you have seen time and time again here on my channel. My friend Michelle from Australia is the Michelle that I'm referring to. I have a second friend, Michelle, a friend Francesca and Camille. We had the most amazing time on our trip to San Antonio. I'll pop a couple pictures in here. And I actually talked a little bit about my trip and put in many more photos in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day video. So if you miss that, I'll link that video down below for you. I kind of go more into detail about my trip and pop in lots and lots of pictures. Talk about a little bit of a non-scale victory with the dress that I wore. So definitely check out Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So I just finished my boot camp workout. I got right back to working out the minute I came back from San Antonio. Wednesday I was at boot camp. This morning I was at boot camp. I lifted weights in the gym yesterday and I have a weightlifting packed weekend. I mean, Saturday and Sunday, I am going to be lifting lots and lots of weights. So when I came home from boot camp this morning, before I sat down to film today's video, I mixed up my Motivate Recovery and it got me thinking about the Motivate Energy Bundle. This bundle is currently on sale for $10 off on the Motivate website. And then I have a 20% off discount. So this is the time for the Energy Bundle. I just purchased this for myself. And I also purchased something from Motivate that's new to them that I'm so excited about. And that is creatine. Now you may be thinking, I don't lift weights. I'm not a bodybuilder. I don't want to take creatine. Everybody should be taking creatine. So I want to talk to you a little bit about this, but first let me tell you what's in the energy bundle. So these are the two products that come in the energy bundle. You guys know I love Motivate Burn. Let's just talk about their new packaging. Like I said, I just ordered this for myself. This is a brand new one. Haven't even opened it yet. This is the Cotton Candy Burn and then the Motivate Recovery. This is the Kiwi Strawberry. This one's open. I did order a second Kiwi Strawberry. The these two items automatically come in the bundle. If you don't want the Motivate Burn powder, you can get the Motivate Burn capsules. Same benefits of the burn in a capsule form. Let's talk about Motivate Burn, your choice of the powder or the capsules in the bundle. Motivate Burn is a delicious fat burning drink that helps reduce your appetite, enhance your mood while providing all day feel good energy. Helps reduce appetite, supports enhanced mood, feel good energy, and helps burn fat. Simply put a scoop of it in 12 to 16 ounces of iced water before a workout or as a replacement for your morning coffee. Now, I typically use burn as an afternoon pick-me-up as well. I love to just mix it into some water. Not only do you get in your water, but you're getting all of the burn benefits. I love the cotton candy flavor. Actually, all of the burn flavors are really good. In the bundle, you have the choice of cherry lemonade, cotton candy, island punch, watermelon, mixed berry, orange burst, or you can get their no stim version. So the no stim version does not have caffeine. Motivate Burn Regular has caffeine. If you're sensitive to caffeine, pick up the Miami Lemonade or the Strawberry Kiwi in the No Stim. Sometimes I use the No Stim if I've had a lot of coffee and I just want the other benefits of burn, the energy, the focus, the fat burning, I'll mix up the No Stim. But you do have the option to choose that as well. And like I said, you can also choose the capsules. Now I take these when I travel, 
or if I don't take the capsules, I will take the little burn packets. Now these do not come as part of the energy bundle, but you can purchase these separately on the Motivate website. But what you're going to get is little single serve to go packets of Motivate Burn. Now this one is in the flavor watermelon. That's one of my favorite Motivate Burn flavors. I love to take these on the go. They're like the little crystal light packets. You just throw them in your purse, your backpack, your school bag, in your car, in your suitcase, and you can take them for on the go motivate burn benefits. You can also get no stim packets as well. So either one of these are great for on the go. Now the other product that comes in the energy bundle is the Motivate Recovery. It combines BCAAs, EAAs, L-glutamine, Hydromax electrolytes, magnesium, sodium, potassium, and L-citrulline to provide fuel for hard working muscles. The recovery formula is perfect for nourishing your muscles, allowing rapid recovery. Ultimate hydration formula supports faster recovery, helps with endurance, and helps enhance muscle repair. So what I do is I use this after I work out. I put it in a full bottle of water. It tastes amazing and you get all of the recovery benefits. Whether you're just doing cardio or lifting weights, your muscles are broken down. Even taking a walk, you're moving your body. You're breaking down your muscles. So using a recovery is really excellent after any workout. In my recovery post-workout, I mix in their creatine. Now, like I said, everybody should be taking creatine. It's not just for people who work out. Creatine is something our body doesn't always make, doesn't make naturally. And it's a supplement that's recommended for everyone. This is pure creatine monohydrate, which is the best option for creatine. It helps elevate your fitness game because it's a powerhouse supplement that revolutionizes your workouts and help you helps you reach new heights in your performance. It is unflavored, super easy to mix. So like I said, I just mix it into my Motivate Recovery. It allows for explosive, strength. Say hello to increased muscle strength that will have you breezing through your toughest lifts and challenges. Also, it gives you enhanced endurance. Push your limits further than ever before. This creatine formula helps boost your endurance, letting you conquer longer workouts and take your stamina to the next level. It also helps with rapid recovery. So it helps with every move and just your overall performance, whether it's lifting, sprinting, intense cardio, it gives you the edge you need to outperform your own expectations. It also helps Support your cognitive function and overall wellness. Simply mix a scoop of this formula with any other formulas, burn, recovery, greens, or even their protein and power through your wellness journey. Completely unflavored. So like I said, you can mix it into anything. Sometimes I put it in, I like to put it in my recovery post-workout. I often utilize Motivate Burn as a pre-workout, so I'll mix it into that. It's just a supplement that you need for your body, whether you're lifting weights or not, whether it's cardio, strength training, HIIT training, sprinting, long distance running, or really just taking a walk around your neighborhood, creatine is essential. And you can use my 20% off discount to save on this as well. So I will link Motivate, all these amazing products down below for you, but I thought I'd share it with you since I literally just mixed up these two together post-workout. So like I said, I just got back from a second vacation two weeks after my vacation to Hawaii. So I do have to say I'm happy to be home. Troy and I, were heading to Sedona, Arizona for one night. My mom actually flies in tomorrow. She's going to be spending some time with us. I have not seen her since I moved to Arizona. So she's probably going to be a little shocked when she sees me because I've lost quite a bit of weight over the last year and a half of living in Arizona. So I'm excited to see her spend time with her. She is going to watch Palmer and Lola for us so that we can go to Sedona. If you didn't know, Troy's birthday is November 17th. My birthday is November 18th and our wedding anniversary is November 17th. We actually got married on Troy's birthday. So we're going to Sedona to celebrate all of that since my mom is here to watch our dogs. We're going to my in-laws for dinner. I'm really excited decided to spend some time with my mom. I want to take her on some walks, some hiking and sightseeing around Arizona. So although I'm back from vacation, I still have another little, I have another event coming up here tomorrow with my mom flying in. Luckily I can control the food and things that I'm preparing and eating while my mom's here. My mother, my in-laws are very healthy, so I'm sure we'll have a healthy dinner going over there. I'm sure we'll eat out, but eating out isn't an issue for me. I'm just happy to be back in my own bed. Seeing my dogs, I really miss Lola and Palmer and Troy when I was gone. And now I don't have any more trips planned until February. So I'm going to really enjoy the holidays and the new year and really get focused on my fitness goals. More of that coming here in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be sharing my body scan results, changes coming to my channel. There's a lot of changes in my life when it comes to my fitness and my weight loss. So that'll be coming up here in the next couple of weeks. But my vacation was wonderful. I'm back. We'll talk about my weigh-in after we talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic, which is how to create a weight 
tracking routine. Another fantastic topic. Do you ever forget to step on the scale? I know you're probably going, yeah, no, I step on the scale way more than I should, but there are people, I promise, there are people out there that forget to step on the scale. And really, this is when we can get into trouble. We need to keep a thumb, a tab on our weight. Whether you weigh daily, weekly, every two weeks, once a month, you need to keep a tab on your weight. So forgetting to weigh yourself can really get us going down the wrong road. Maybe you don't love how you feel after you weigh yourself, or maybe you do love how you feel after you weigh yourself. We need to boost our confidence and we need to understand weight fluctuations. So weighing yourself regularly is important to see those weight fluctuations, to understand what your body is doing, and really most importantly, to keep a tab on your weight. So there are some things we can try when it comes to figuring out our weighing in routine. Try this. When and how often will you weigh yourself? Choose a frequency between once a day and once a week. Then pick a day and time you can stick with, like first thing in the morning. Number two, how will you boost your confidence beforehand, before getting on the scale? Try reflecting on a non-scale victory since your last weigh-in. And then pump yourself up with music or relax with a few deep, mindful breaths. Then number three, what will you say to yourself when you track your weight in your app? Put the number in perspective. The scale is just one measure. And then consider encouraging words like I am strong or keep on keeping on. And number four, what health promoting action will you do afterwards? It can be as simple as drinking a glass of water or going for a short walk. Then prep or pre-track your next meal. Write out your action plan. Day, time, location, I'll weigh myself is. Before I step on the scale, I will. When I track my weight, I'll say to myself and what I'll do right after weighing in. It's really important to not only weigh yourself regularly, but understand weight fluctuations and understand that the scale will fluctuate. You can do everything right and the scale may not move, but maybe your body's changing. Maybe you're leaner and you're stronger and your clothes are fitting differently. In my opinion, this measurement of your overall success is way more important than the scale. You guys know I always say the scale is one measurement of success and not nearly the most important, and the scale measures mass. Bone, water, fat, lean muscle, you might need to go to the bathroom. The scale is going to measure it all is mass. So although we do want to weigh ourselves regularly, we don't want to focus 100% on the scale. We want to focus on non-scale related things. Maybe you hit a plateau and you don't want to see the same number again. Or maybe you're going through a phase in your weight loss journey where you're seeing a lot of weight fluctuations and not in the right direction. We can tend to get into what is called the ostrich, uh, ostrich effect. The ostrich effect is the tendency to bury your head in the sand to avoid potentially unpleasant information or feelings. We cannot do this. We need to conquer these head on. We need to know that weight fluctuation is normal. We need to know we're going to have weight ups, weight down. We're going to do everything right and it's not going to show on the scale. You need to learn to accept that and not let the scale dictate your mood. Now, if you are someone that can look at the scale as data, I weigh myself every morning and every night it doesn't affect me one way or another. You guys know that. I share my weigh-in every single week. If it affects you, maybe weigh yourself once a week or every two weeks. My recommendation for you would to never go more than one month without weighing in, checking in, keeping your thumb on your weight. I do wanna share three fast facts from Weight Watchers with you. Number one, weighing yourself frequently is associated with greater weight loss. Number two, aim to step on the scale between once a day and once a week. And number three, tracking your weight often can take the pressure off of any one day or number to help you recognize that fluctuations are normal. It is important to weigh yourself regularly. And until you've healed your relationship with the scale, don't weigh daily. If it bothers you to see weight fluctuation or you don't understand why your weight is fluctuating, don't weigh yourself daily. If you want to understand weight fluctuations, I actually did a whole video on my nutrition channel about weight fluctuation. I'll link the video in the description box for you. I highly recommend checking it out if you don't understand or can't comprehend or deal with weight fluctuations. And make sure you're subscribed to my nutrition channel. I put a lot of nutrition content out over there. That's the place to go for that. But make sure that you're keeping that tab on your weight. Weigh once a week, every two weeks, once a month at minimum. Never go more than a month without weighing yourself. Speaking of weighing yourself, let's talk about my weight post vacation. So if you watch my channel or you keep up, you know that I actually lost a pound when I went to Hawaii. I then flux flexed up just about 0.4 and I was at that same 0.4 gain before I went on my trip to San Antonio. So when I came back from my trip weighing in today, now I came back on Monday, so it's been four or five days since returning from my trip. I will tell you that I weighed Tuesday morning and I was up on the scale about 
0.8, so almost a full pound. When I stepped on the scale today, I am actually down 0.2 from when I went to San Antonio. So guess what? That was a weight fluctuation. I didn't gain 0.8 on my trip. I maintained my weight and that was a weight fluctuation. And by the end of the week, a few days later, getting back on track, eating right, drinking my water, doing my workouts, here we are, 0.2 down. So I'm still up 0.2 from the lowest weight, but that's fine. Like I told you guys, my goal was to maintain my weight, which is exactly what I did. I've also been lifting a lot more heavy and a little bit longer. Again, that video is coming out. I'm holding off because I'm still putting pieces together for that video. I want it to be completely comprehensive and really be able to go into detail for you. So I'm waiting to put a few more pieces together, but I promise it's coming mid-November. So point two down, feeling really good. Happy that that's what happened going on vacation and understanding that the scale only measures one thing of my overall weight loss success. It measures mass and I feel really good about losing point too. So now I want to hear from you guys. How was your week? How was your weigh-in? Let me know everything down below and let me know your thoughts on weighing. Are you someone that takes the scale as data and moves on or does the scale negatively affect you? And don't forget to watch my weight fluctuation video. Very, very good information. It's also linked to down below for you along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. I will also have motivate with that 20% off discount linked down below for you. I'll have a link. I'll have the, for the energy bundle, the creatine and all of the other amazing motivate products. It'll be at the top of the description box for you. And don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.